So you're in the third time world champion, um, <laughs> and you had to work pretty damn hard for it. Uh, would you say that was the hardest earned victory so far? Uh, honestly, every single time you're racing Kona, it's, it's very hard. It's a battle to the finish line. Um, this year was probably it, mentally tough, just in that getting off the bike, 14.30 down. I really, at, at that point of the race, um, really didn't believe that I could win. I was more was disappointed that I was that far down and then I was more just trying to focus on doing everything I could do, controlling the controllables and putting together my best marathon and hoping you know, to get break into the top five and then eventually top three, um, which ended up being yeah. in first place. So mentally it was probably, it was the hardest, um, hardest race to get through, but um, physically, I mean, every single race is, is super tough. I mean, the victory and in 13 was, was difficult. I mean, every year I end up in that medical tent, so um, they're all equally as hard. Yeah. Your, really, your, your whole Ironman career has, has really coincided with what seems to be a, a massive step change in performance, certainly in terms of depth as well at women's racing. Um, I started collecting stats on, on Ironman racing a few years ago, and I remember when, when Chrissy raced in Frankfurt 2008, it was like, oh, you nearly broke the world record, you shouldn't have slowed down. Yeah. That's like the 35th fastest time now. You know, it's, it's, it's almost irrelevant. Absolutely. Um, so every year it gets harder and harder. Mm -hmm. Does that mean you just have to keep raising your game more and more because what you've done before, you know it's not going to be good enough yeah. the next year? Yeah, I think um, in general, um, I think Chrissy was the first to really break that nine hour barrier and do it almost with ease um, or whenever she you know, felt like it, it seemed. Um, and you know, that's when I was really just starting Iron Man. And um, I think, you know, that first year in Kona for me was also Rachel Joyce's first year in Kona. So we sort of were doing our apprenticeship while Chrissy was crushing it. Um, and that was our goal. Um, so she went out and trailblazed, you know, those finishes in Kona and in Frankfurt and in Roth and, you know, a bunch of other places all over the world. and. That was the bar for us, and so now you know every year you're trying to you're trying to get to that goal, and I think we're now getting to the that that level of performance, and um, exactly it's gonna it's gonna always be raising it a little bit more and, and trying to beat that that barrier or whatever that barrier is. At the moment. And do you also see that your your career has developed? If we go back to say what you were doing four or five years ago, you would tend to race six, seven, eight, you know, half, seven to point threes, yeah. and you'd be consistent and winning a lot of them. Yep. What you often see with athletes is they get a little bit older, maybe they have to race a little bit smarter, maybe not so often, and as they develop, that goal of Kona becomes a it's almost like they've got the confidence to go, no, I can prepare just for that, I don't need to peak in March or April. Yeah, I think there's a bit of um, two things going on. One, yes, um, you, if you want to race in Kona, you need to focus the whole year around it. When I was racing um, five, six, seven, seventy point threes and um, half distance races and, and Olympic distance races, um, I only had to do one Ironman a year. So in nine, Kona was my only Ironman. So I was able to race a lot more. 10, Kona was my only Ironman. And then they brought in the rule where you needed to do another Ironman in order to qualify. And that really, for me, meant that my race schedule had to be basically cut in half because those first couple of years I raced New Zealand um, early in the year and then I had to take time to recover. And, and then your speed's just not there. So you don't really want to go out and race all the time when you're just going to get beat because you've been training the Ironman, you've been racing the Ironman. It, it saps the speed out of you, your legs. Um, and for me, it was... You know, when I step on a start line, for the most part, I want to be competitive. I'm not, you know, usually not just there to make up the numbers. Yeah. Um, so, in being a competitive individual, I, I plan my season accordingly. So, if I have two Ironman events I need to do within the year, then that would mean that um, I needed to take, you know, at least a month after the Ironman and then, you know, a month to build and then before I can really race competitively. Yeah. So I think that there's yeah, two factors. Um, the bigger one, I believe, is the fact that two Ironman distance races in a 12-month period just limits your ability to race short course. Now you've, you've won you've won Roth this year, so you first time, I'm sure, a great experience. You've won 70.3 Worlds, you've won three Ironman world titles. What's the, the ongoing motivation or what's the goal for the whatever number of years you've got left in, in your racing career? 
Honestly, Kona's really always been my driving force, um, and I think that has shown in my results. And that you know, I, I started out the sport doing an ITU short course, but I had my eye on Kona back in 2002, 2003. Didn't race Kona until 09 uh, because I wanted to be a competitor uh, when I stepped on that start line for the first time, and that holds true now. I, I really still believe I can have a better performance, or I have yet to have my best performance in Kona. I still believe I'm developing and getting stronger as an athlete at 33 years old now. Um, hopefully my best years are, uh, are ahead of me. And, um, Kona for me is is the motivation. Um, there are a lot of other fantastic races. Challenge Roth was one of the greatest um, experiences in my athletic career, racing um, with that kind of crowd, that kind of support. Um, and just the whole environment and experience itself was fantastic. But um, the race that gets me out of bed, the race that I'm thinking about in the hard sessions is always Kona. Um, that race is, is very special. Well, it was great to watch you there this year. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thanks very much for talking to us. Thank you so much for having me. Cheers. No